they still call me overrated. I'm like, why? Okay, so... So I, this is a personal set for me. Oh, okay. This, is, this says a lot of meaning to me. <laughs> I reckon we'll see a band of talent set you perhaps from DKO. Yeah. yeah, I think there'll definitely be a band there from that. Like, it is one of Sheik's best, probably best stages, but... but Rob's up there is a scarily hard move to DI. I right know, game one. Go on FD, not a bad choice for me, the players. And I know needles are... From, oh my god. Needles! And right now we're just seeing uh, that, that juggernaut game from, uh, wow. from DK. Oh, it's that boxing game, isn't it? Spuddle's showing how safe that net can be from space it correctly. If you do space it well, it is good. However, it can have like a long disjoint. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about Sheik's up there, but it can beat out the net on, uh, on landing. Yeah. You know, as it descends, for example. Mrs. Spuddle's is rolling around Sheik a bit. That is true, yeah. But it's a case of oh, he misses the tech, but it's not going to be dead oh, yet. No, no, no. I think about Rob. You don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about missing the tech. Of course, after Rob uses the, the up the, it, it, it takes time to recharge. DK Ho isn't using many. Uh, he's not using many needles. needles. Yeah, he's not. That's maybe, not maybe, maybe he doesn't want to contest Rob's projectile game with it. Well, that's so, the thing. Uh, needles will just go through, you know, the laser, for example. Oh my god, Spuddle's going for all. Looking to end it all there. But he's run out of uh, he's run out of fuel right now. Okay. I think Dico was looking for some kind of pet chase. Bounty Fish not going to kill quite yet. He does no, read does, the high recovery. At that point, uh, Rob cannot air dodge. So if you do the upbeat, yeah. you can't air dodge out of uh, the move until you do another action. For example, an aerial through that. Oh dear. This is where she really shines against Rob. That combo ability from the big body or something. Oh. Oh, oh, he no. goes! Oh my days. No! <laughs> I don't know, that, that was potential. There was potential there. Yeah, he bounced down. Just put it on that was unlucky and sad. And I think it's a. It was a case of we didn't see many lasers. We started to see some gyros at the start, just that shield pressure. Yeah. It gradually got less and less and become it became more of a neg. Yes, a lot of nairs. Yeah. And it's a case of well Rob does have a great nair. If you do the nair right in front of them, you have a few options. And all are very easily readable, so it still puts you in a disadvantageous position. Yeah. No. No. I reckon we'll see a change of pace in this match. I think if you get a long stage, yeah. That's a big thing about Rob. People think, oh, Battlefield. Why would you think that as Rob? You've got, you know, the higher blast zones. Well, Battlefield is one of the longer stages. Longest stages. And that's where... Does it have the same length as Dreamland, just lower ceilings? Uh, I think the dimensions are... High ceilings. Oh, yeah, high ceilings, sorry, yeah. No, I believe it's longer than uh, Dreamland. Longer than Dreamland. Oh, he goes to the jab reset there. Wait, I swear that something hit sheet there. If you land the south spot of the up smash, it does a... Uh, it does a... Uh, does jab. Right now, watch you grab out shield is not really an option for Wait, DK will just use bouncing pitch off the, uh, the gyro that's still sat there on really? the stage. So, that, so it's like the balloon in that it can be... It's an item that can be that's used. A, that's an interesting mechanic. I, I've, never, I've never seen that before. There we are, the laser we're talking about there. Yeah. Okay. The thing, is, the thing is, when you when Rob drops down and jumps up, you know what he's going to go for, obviously. Because either he drops down and jumps up underneath the ledge uh, and uses it up there, or he jumps above the stage level and goes from there. That's the thing. Rob can be it. Oh, that can be it! He's going to air dodge. Yeah, that's going to be an air dodge. Of course, Rob's, Rob's up there being a multi-hit move and sending you at some really random angles sometimes. It's just scarily hard to DI. And yes, we're seeing, we're seeing that more spacing game from Spurs that we're talking about. More use of the gyro. I don't think I saw Rob back air that, that whole last game, at least I didn't see. It's not usually a reliable option, but it definitely does allow you to control that area. Remind it keeps them in check. Yeah. Just, just, just like many games we've commentated, uh, uh, faring, be faring better in this... Uh, the second game. Yeah, the second game definitely comes down. I'm not saying that's a theme, definitely. But, uh, I, I don't think... The gyro I don't right now... The platforms haven't been a deciding factor in making this game more even, really. No, I think the it's platforms just, uh, been a middle one. adjusting uh, to the playstyle. Oh, nice. That's not going to be any confirmed at that okay, point. Okay, DIing it was, but of course, Sheik has lost many I think at that point, the dash down would have been good. 
goes really low for that yeah, forward air. Very low. Forward air killing it over 170 oh, percent. And that's the conditioning, isn't it? Because when Spunnels went high earlier, ooh, nearly managed to land that air uh, grab there. Dico does roll well, in. I was saying, uh, Dico was conditioning to go low. Yeah. You know, he killed him off the uh, high recovery from the last game. That all day just In my opinion, Sheik is one of the hardest, scariest characters to be down the stock at 0% against. If Sheik, if Sheik has the momentum, it's terrifying. It's just that she has such, yeah. there we are, such low percent combo potential that she has the best, one of the best, best potentials in the game to put on extra credit uh, when, Very true. when you're down the stock and at 0%. So it's really scary. So getting a lead against Sheik in the first off is very, very important. Getting a lead against Sheik is important in Janku. You can say that much. And surviving so many hits. Oh, and the walking from Jackie right now. Okay, that was a vicious. Oh, he goes to the gyro right there, Fuji. Yeah. It's coming in really well. Okay. Oh. Wait, did they actually? I did not know that. Wait, what's up? Apparently they both got the same place in Albion too. Oh. Oh, he does the back air. Just a barely enough steam to make it back. Oh dear. And then that's not going to be enough. And he reads the high recovery. Sheik's neutral air snuffing out Rob's uh, approach option and then following up with the bouncing fish. Very well played from Spuddles though, that second game especially. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was close. He played well in the first game. It's just that DK Home had... Uh, just anticipated so much, but in the second game, uh, definitely. Step